I am a man. I am a man. Look at me. I am so strong. And I am so bulky. Oh, really? Yes, look at me. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Ooh, look at these two people. I just love this concept. It's just two black dots, two black paint spots. And the cloud is made out of sand. You understand? Very gentle application of adhesive and then poured sand. So this is how I paint in 2023. And this is how I painted in 1983, 84, 17, 18 year old. No, no, before 18. You know, like, like very impressionistic, post-impressionistic, Bonnard type of shit. To keep famous artworks, not really famous, but good artworks. This is a very good artwork. And this is a good piece. You can go to the Museum of Modern Art in New York and sit in front of it for days on end and analyze every structure, textures, how he treated the, the main subject by comparison to the, to the secondary elements and third elements, okay? So this is what I'm fucking around with. So it was cactuses, okay? The big dicks floating in space. So I decided to make it, as of yesterday, after 20 years, into ocean of dicks. Ocean of dicks. Because I have one cactus painting. It's covered right now. It looks like cactuses underwater. You understand? And it was admired, but now I realize it. It was admired because they all look like dicks underwater. So I'm going to make ocean of dicks. And here is, uh, you know, new things. I mean, I'm repainting 20-year-old canvases. I'm not going to throw away fucking linen on, on those stretchers. The fucking stretchers are uh, $60. This piece of linen is 150 So it's a $200 investment. I'm not going to throw this shit out. Look how many. Well, these are finished, okay? Whatever is inside, those are finished. But now I'm, I'm bringing shit from outside, smaller shit, to finish those small ones before I move to, to my new location. I'm going to be living 200 yards from Body of Water and 40 minutes from Museum of Modern Art. Shit always falls on my paintings and then it gets stuck. Ah, and that's how I started a new trend, do you understand? Like two men fighting, it's a new trend, and I'll explain. No, no, it's another issue, it's another video. But here is a smoking technology, okay? And I'm showing you this blank piece of paper, which was right here, and I smoked it yesterday, and it looks like I didn't intend that as two men fighting. This is one of the vital drawings. <laughs> Here I attached uh, coins, so it's New York City, two men fighting, the whole concept of violence, Pandora's box as a, as a watermark effect, and God pulsating subatomic particle, ba -bam, ba -bam. and shit got stuck, okay? And I keep it there. See what happens. I even made stars, constellations here. I'll continue that symbol. That I want to dwell on it. So the smoke created these two figures, but the smoke cannot be, soot cannot be controlled, not to the extent of anatomy, of human anatomy. This is a project I need to do today. My friend's birthday, my son's, his son's birthday, he's like in Oklahoma, is on the 20th, so he needs to get it on the 19th by FedEx. It's got to be a drawing of his son riding a uh, three-wheel three motor vehicle. And this shit, I just realized, I lost horizon again. So horizontal line is not really horizontal, first of all. Secondly, the red is too straight from a tube. It's not. It's not. None of my colors are straight from a tube because when I get them, I mix them right away. But it looks like straight from a tube. And it gives this impression because this painting doesn't have enough grays, okay? We tell something is realistic and comes from life 
Whoa, we step on shit. Uh, because it's more gray, you understand? Reality is not straight from a tube. Color from a tube is, is, is raw meat to cook with. I mean, I eat raw meat, you know, I eat steak or tatar. <laughs> I can eat it every day, if it's horse meat, okay? So, this is more realistic than many others. It's not made out of life, but it's made based on those little uh, landscapes. Where the fuck are they? Um, out of life, okay? So, so, how to make epic statement, cosmic statement with epic ideas, but to bring true colors into this vision. How? The, the, the applications of true colors within the landscape, the, you know, the tree, the sky, the gas, the liquids, the solids, understood, the textures, it's all right there. And how am I, how am I supposed to transfer this and use it to express Ocean of dicks, ocean of love, ocean of passions. How? You understand? This was a standing figure three days ago. See? You see those eyes? And now it's not a figure anymore. And uh, there is hard, there are cosmic shit, shit, messages, blah, blah, blah. But there are too many elements also. You understand? Too many elements. It's a good linen, good linen. Oh, this is rabbit skin glue. You see it's glowing here, shining. This is what I want you to do. After you stretch a canvas, you make a jelly out of rabbit skin glue. 16, 15, 10% jelly. Not stronger, not stronger. And you run it, you put it in the, free, in the refrigerator, it, get, it turns into a jelly, and then you rub it with your arms on the other side, on the front of the painting, right? And this jelly, after it dries, it turns your canvas into the drum. And this is what you want. The most important about rabbit skin glue is that the thread going 90% angle to each other lines out. After you apply rabbit skin glue, it lines out. Because after you stretch it, it's not lined out. After you stretch it, before rabbit skin glue, you look at the thread, it goes like this. Zoom. Zoom. Shit, there is a nail. Oh, fuck. There is a nail. I mean, not a nail. Something sharp needs to go. Um, so, oh, I just attached something. Oh, yeah. I just, I, it's just a laboratory of colors and textures. New ideas, okay? Okay, so that's it. End of the video.